Okay, I've spotted a little problem with the Adobe um, software. I'm wondering if anyone else is experiencing it. So um, I'm just going to do this on, on uh, it's a relatively unedited image. I'm just opening this up here. Now, I did add a little bit of a hue, just a little bit tint into the kind of background color here. Uh, so I'm just going to open this image. And we'll hit the selection tool, which we've got here. And we're going to try and select our subjects here. So select this. And essentially, I'm just going to add in a little bit of a, a color. Did not bad job of the selection here, I have to say. Let's uh, up a little bit. I think it's just missed a little bit back of the hair up here. So if we hold the shift key down and we just try and add on there now, it might now go a little bit haywire, but it's actually quite good now. It's sticking relatively close to borders and outlines, which is pretty good. Um, and we'll try and come down here a little bit and you see it's worked out what I'm trying to do. And if I just do that there, to be start it and then we'll just go up here and now it's and then we'll go back over the face and if we should just get quite close to this okay but i think we'll probably just go with that um and we'll just select and mask now i want to actually select the inverse of that so we'll do control shift i and now I want to put a solid color adjustment layer. So we're just going to put there, nice and white. And we'll just say OK for a moment. I'm just going to disable that layer. And we're going to get the color picker here. Um, I think I'm going to go roughly about this color here, this nice bright yellow. And we'll say OK. And um, that yellow there. Yeah, we'll go with that. Say OK. Um, we're going to fill this layer here with uh, this here. And we'll say OK. And so what's the opposite of that on this wheel? So it's going to be roughly about here. If you take a straight line through there, we're going to there. Okay. So now we're going to fill the layer with this blue. Double click again. Click here. Click OK. Okay, so that, that's the colour we want. That's the colour I'm going for with this, right? Okay, we've got a little bit of editing to do, but that's the colour I want. Um, now we've got the blend mode. And if I go down here to the hue, for instance, and it's not just in the, if I go all the way up to the very top of the image, come down one at a time. Uh, I'm starting to see it here at the darker color. Lighter is fine. But when we get down to lighter color, you can see a kind of weird shape there. It disappears again in this panel. Uh, reappears in this bottom section and if I leave it in the color because the color is quite um, vivid you'll see the actual color that it's making is nowhere near the color I've got but we'll leave it there as a blend mode and I'll we'll say color and I'm just going to save this out as a JPEG right now so we'll say file save as uh, I'm just going to call it test and we'll see there's a JPEG down there here. Let's click Save. Click OK. And it looks bad enough here. I mean, I could make a, 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 I could make a composite layer and, and, and fill that out. But it's actually doing something pretty weird to the JPEG. And if I go down to the bottom and have a look at the, the, the JPEG that's made, it's just taking a second to render that. Now it's not even making it. This is the third time I've done this test with this uh, image. We'll try it again, save as, and we'll call it uh, uh, a 
we'll call it test two, test two JPEG. Make it a large file, it's there. Now, if I drop the opacity of that, which is what I was always going to intend to do anyway, I just want just a mere little hint of color. You can see it's still there, even at this, down at 27%, it's still there. And if I change that again to a JPEG, and we'll call this one test three. Just call it test three and save. And this looks bad enough here. Hopefully this will render. This is what it does to an actual JPEG. So there's a serious issue here. Um, I have nothing else open that would cause this. I've got the internet open. And I've got Camtasia open so that I can record the screen. But that's horrendous. So if anyone's got a fix, I'll leave on that one there. It's pretty, if you have a look, maybe the artifact in close up will assist you with that. It looks, yeah, pretty, pretty poor. I have nothing on my computer that resembles that grid, so I have no idea of what that is. So Adobe, if you know what the fix is, please let me know. Thanks for watching.